Hello, good morning, and welcome, welcome to this Dawn Busters Taste Challenge. It's about 15 minutes later than I wanted it to be. It's 5.45 a.m. Central Standard Time. Well, I was doing a breakfast beer review. People have been asking me, are you going to do another breakfast beer review? I said, oh, I don't know. And I said, if they want it, I'll do it. And I like doing it anyway, although I don't beer for breakfast. So I had my coffee ready, medium roast, and and I made the breakfast the Quaker white hominy grits. And I put some uh, corned beef hash in it and some Valentina hot sauce and some black pepper. And, um, and then I put some sour cream in it. And it was hot. I mean, I had almost scalded myself. So then I um, drank this beer with it called Brumation. Brumation from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, a company called Zoni Mash. It was good, not very good or excellent, but it was good. You know, I tried it fine. Um, went well with the breakfast. Uh, the coffee went better with the breakfast, but I put me back 15 minutes. So you know, there we are 15 minutes later. I should have woke, woke, should have woken up 15 minutes earlier, but then I was up with the uh, wild card Wednesday last night. So I put links to the websites over here. We'll look at that in a moment. So Johnny Walker Red Label, originally known as Walker's Old Highland Mist. Old, yeah, um, Old Highland Red Label, not Mist. Highland Mist is a different brand of whiskey, uh, but Old Highland. Uh, but they wanted to rebrand it, so they came out with the Striding Man, you know, the walking guy, and the, renamed it Johnny Walker Red Label in 1909. But the company was founded as really a grocery store in, in 1820, very much like C, uh, Shiva's Brothers. Shiva's Brothers started as a grocery store in Scotland and then became this big, huge whiskey company. All right, so interesting how that develops. So this Red Label... Uh, Around here in Louisiana, it's about $20 a bottle. Maybe cheaper in your state, maybe higher in your state. Uh, it says, there is an age statement that says aged at, oh, aged a minimum of three years. A minimum of three years. You say, is it much higher than three? I mean, common sense will tell us that if it was, they'd let you know. So it's three years age, let's just say that. Golden looks nice. Uh, so... That there's that. Uh, they're both from Scotland, obviously. They're Scotch. But here's here's 100 pipers in a, in the United States. It's sold as 100 pipers. Around the world, it's sold as Seagram's 100 pipers. I don't know why there's a difference. It's more accurate to just call it 100 pipers because Seagram's no longer owns it. Seagram's <laughs> went out of business in the year 2000, 20 years ago. All right, and Shiva's. Brothers, which was part of Seagram's, because Seagram's had bought Shivas Brothers. The Shivas Brothers was bought by Pernod Ricard of France, Republic Francais. Okay, um, there's only four pipers on the bottle, but uh, it is hundred pipers. You can't. Oh no, there's more than four. There's some in the background. There's eight. <laughs> oh no, sorry, that's their pipes and flags. Ha ha. All right. Now, there's an Indian bottle. If you look at the one sold in India, it's a little fancier bottle. Probably sold as a, at a higher price point. There is a 12-year age 100 Pipers, which I've never seen, which maybe I'll stumble across. And if I do, you can be guaranteed I'm going to buy it unless the price is craziness. Good morning, Jay, and happy Friday Eve. Yeah, happy Friday Eve to you. Happy Thursday. So uh, this is handled in the United States by Heaven Hill. So apparently Shiva's Brothers, who is the uh, Scotch whiskey arm of Pernod Ricard, they all op operate sort of like an independent company, much like um, Just Ernie and Brooks with Diageo. <laughs> they made a contract, I guess, say, look, we, we will sh ship it to Kentucky and then you can bottle it and distribute it and you get a piece of the action. These companies do this kind of stuff all the time. Hey, well... You can tell it's a Heaven Hill bottle. But like I say, if you're in e England or India, it's going to be a different bottle. Then on the back, there's like an essay. I'm not going to read the essay about, you know, how wonderful it is. And then the history of the 100 Pipers, the Battle of Coop, 
colored in and all of that. So if you want to if you want to buy a scotch with an SA, get this or get the JW Dance, which is even longer. It's almost like a yeah, it's a treatise. <laughs> uh, deluxe blended scotch whiskey. Okay, celebrates this fine tradition of the Prince Bonnie Prince Charlie. Carefully selected malt and grain whiskeys are blended together to create a scotch whiskey of outstanding quality. It's distinctive smoothness yet subtly smoky taste is appreciated by connoisseurs around the world. Age statement, this fine whiskey is three years old. Um, you will see reviews for this from time to time. Somebody posted one yesterday. And like they said, you know, they said, well, it's not the greatest thing, but it's not bad. It says, it's, it's nice. $8.99 a bottle. I can get this for $8.99 a bottle at certain stores. Come on. Here's the, what they're saying about Johnny Walker Red Label on the johnnywalker.com website. Come on. Clicked back to their oh, portfolio. Johnny Walker Red Label is our pioneer blend. Yeah, their first one. Then the black 12 year was added. Um, the versatile one that has introduced our whiskey to the world. Crafted from the four corners of Scotland. So that means you're getting Highland, Lowland, Isla, and Speyside. Oh. Uh, it crackles with spice and is bursting with vibrant, smoky flavors. I, I'll agree with that. There's no joke. That's not hype. It does burst with vibrant, smoky flavors. I noticed they're showing the old bottle, though. There's a new bottle where the guy's not wearing a red jacket. It's just a clear striding man and different font on the letters. So I don't know why they're showing the old bottle. Followed by a mellow bed of vanilla. I don't remember vanilla. Fresh zestiness. Yes. And the Johnny Walker signature of a long, lingering, smoky finish. All right. And that fantastic squared off bottle. That's a that's a sharp looking. You, ever, you know what I mean? This is a sharp looking whiskey bottle. If I ever saw one. Here's Seagram's 100 Pipers on the Shivas Brothers website. And they also make Valentine's, the Glenlivet, Royal Salute, Abelor, Longmorn, and Scapa. Glen Campbell, something special, and Passport Scotch. So they have an array. Now they're showing the, the standard bottle, the European and Asian bottle, the embossed bottle with the metal cap, the shoulders, and the all of that, with more pipers on it. Okay, well, anyway, still called Deluxe Seagram's 100 Pipers. It is named after the Scottish tradition of bagpipers leading soldiers into battle, in particular from the Ballad of the 100 Pipers which tells the story of Bonnie Prince Charlie leading 100 Pipers in the 1745 uprisings. Didn't it start in 1744 though? But anyway, um, that was the House of Stuart, the Catholic family allied with uh, Bourbon France. And they were expelled by the English uh, Protestants who controlled most of the country. And so after the Stuarts were expelled in 1688, they were never able to. Now, they said they were expelled. Of course, the Parliament, Protestants, the Anglicans said, oh, no, they weren't expelled. They chose to leave. He, he gave up the throne. He did run off, but uh, he figured he, he was going to save his child and uh, escape. But anyway, it's an it's old conflict in England and Scotland. Created in 1965 by Shivas Brothers' master blender, Alan ba Bailey. So they're telling you who invented it. Alan Bailey developed it. Is a sweet, not invented it, but developed it. Is a sweet, complex, and rounded blend with a fruity nose and delicate honey flavor. Honey flavor. Okay. It is made using some of the best malts in the Speyside region that have been matured in carefully selected superior quality casks. The range includes a hundred pipers deluxe and 12 year old. Well, I have the deluxe. I don't have the 12 year old. Would I like to buy it? You know, I would you No, know I would. 
All right. So the Hunter Pipers. It's golden. The Johnny Walker. It's golden, you know. Uh-oh. Pour too much Hunter Pipers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hate to pour more Walker. Because I'm trying to um I'm trying to I'm trying to nurse it, you know what I'm saying? Like do all the taste challenges. Oh well, you know what's gonna happen? If I run out of this bottle, which eventually I will, I'm definitely going to go buy a big bottle of it. You know, the big glass 1,750 milliliter bottle. Is that good? It's worth it. It might cost me 40 bucks, but it's worth it because it's going to give me $40 forty dollars worth of enjoyment. Oh, yeah. And I'll be going to be 52 years old this year. I'll be 62 still working on that. And that's cool. You know, God willing, I'm alive. Okay. I got them well mixed. I don't have to close my eyes because they're the same color, golden. Okay. My prediction. I think Johnny Walker will be a little bit better. But it's not going to be way better. It'll be a little more savory, a little more zesty and enjoyable. But I don't think it's going to be way better. Eight ninety nine a bottle now versus well, I paid eighteen ninety nine. You see, no, I think it was even. I think it was twenty two even, which is you know usually they always put ninety nine, make you think you're getting a deal. But at Winn Dixie, I think it was twenty two even, and I got the four dollar off coupon, so it was eighteen. So let's say nine dollars versus 18 twice as good is it going to be twice as good i seriously doubt that so you see 100 pipers is a secret weapon 52 years young yeah yeah young haha <laughs> 52 years middle age okay uh smells like grain alcohol with a little peat but mostly just grain whiskey little peat in it. you say yeah what do you Blended scotches, that's what they are, man. They're mostly grain whiskey, grain alcohol made from corn in a column still, aged at, at a minimum amount. Then they're blended with 20% single malt whiskeys to give them flavor and aroma. That's right. You're right. Same concept as American blended whiskey, 80-20 usually. Typical. Not. It's not a law. It's just, I mean, it's a law for the minimum. In America, the whiskey's got to be at least 20% straight bourbon, usually bourbon. And then it could be 80% corn liquor, corn alcohol. Uh, in other words, moonshine. What is moonshine? Unaged corn whiskey. Why is it unaged? Because the people that are making it illegally at night under the moonlight had to hurry up, bottle it, and ship it out. They didn't have time to age it. You know, they're on the run. Their eight revenue agents can get them. And that's how that, that, that whole culture of moonshine developed in the South, Southern United States, unaged corn liquor. And you see the Waltons, remember the old television show, the Waltons, where they're drinking it. Of course, the legitimate companies that could have the oak barrels, charred oak barrels, they aged it and it became bourbon. And that name is in dispute. Where did the name bourbon come from? All right, so that's that. It smells kind of basic. It smell bad, but it's not like you smell it and you say, oh, man, I just got to go buy it. I can't wait. This one is not that different in the nose. It's not an elaborate amount of smoke. It's a touch, a little touch, peat, and mostly cereal grain, which, you know, is almost assuredly corn. Could they have a little malt whiskey in it? You know, barley malt whiskey malted barley whiskey uh and the aroma they they have a little doughiness but it isn't really profound it isn't profound i'm going to be honest with these i don't take sides i don't uh advocate for these products whoever wins wins and whoever loses loses and if it's a tie fine and if this is a tie then it's a loss for johnny walker because why it's twice the amount if you're lucky it's twice more than likely it's more than twice the price uh, so the only way Johnny Walker's going to win is going to have to be twice as good. And I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. 
Okay. Mm, man, so far on the aroma. I think this might be Johnny Walker, a little more bread dough, but I really, I'm not too confident. I don't know. I just don't know. I think, think, and not sure. Taste. Mm. They're talking about vanilla on this Shivas Brothers. Maybe, but to tell you the truth, and I have no reason to lie, I'm mainly getting some bitey grain alcohol, kind of bite, bitey. You know, it's like <laughs> grain spirits. You say, you mean like an American blended whiskey, like T.W. Samuels, which is $8.99 as well. Yeah, 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 that's right. But T.W. Samuels, you won't have the smokiness because they're not using peated malt at all. So, you know, T.W. Samuels is going to come across like a bourbon in some ways because they're blending 20% Heaven Hill bourbon in it. Usually reject bourbon. They actually said that on the some videos I watched from the Heaven Hills retired representative. If they're making Elijah Craig or Evan Williams or a Heaven Hill bourbon and it doesn't come out quite right, like it was too much heat on it, something like that, They're not throwing it out. Not, not going to happen. They blend it off and make uh, T.W. Samuels or Kentucky Gold or Heaven Hill Quality House blended whiskey. That's what they're doing. They're not wasting it. Now, when it's blended with 20, 80 percent grain spirits and then they go and age it for three years. Eh, be all right. All you're going to do is mix it with Sprite anyway. Or like somebody told me their grandma drinks whiskey mixed with milk. Now it sounds bizarre, but that's what she does. She takes milk and puts whiskey in it and drinks it for like her drink. Well, I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's not that dissimilar from a eggnog kind of concept. So, but anyway, it'll work fine for that. You know, you're not going to buy blended whiskey and just con you say, you mean like you contemplate it? Yeah, right. You know, I'm not going to do that. Not what tastes for hard liquor can only craft beer, man. What? Not what taste. Let me try to read this sentence. 52 years. Not what tastes for hard liquor only craft beer, man. Right. Grain only malt to me or corn, corny shirt beer. Uh, those comments make no sense. I respect your reviews. Love eggnog. Now, those make sense. Shop price is invariably a good strategy. Shop price is a fabulous strategy when you're dealing with comparable products. Taste time over here. Boss has a lot of corn. Ooh wee. Yeah. Um, watch your language. Watch your language. We want to be dignified on this channel. All right. Um. There's more smoke here. So that's Johnny Walker. I mean, that's your telltale sign. That's like your telltale heart. We want to thank uh, Edgar Allan Poe for that. Um, are these vastly different one from another? No, they're not. The, the body is the same in the sense that it's a lot of corn and I just ate corn grits, white hominy, but these usually typically use yellow hominy, yellow grits. It's just like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go buy some corn, yellow corn, American corn. Don't put salt in it and eat it. You say, well, that doesn't sound very good. Yeah, right. It isn't because it's so bland, but you're going to, if you take that and make grits out of it and then you, which is dehydrated corn pulverized into little kernels, like, you know, little particles. Uh, well, then that's what you're going to get. And then you distill it and you get uh, alcohol. Okay. Because what's, what's distilling? The starch. It's clean, though. The, the harshness kind of fades. Like if you keep sipping on it, the harshness will kind of fade. The bite will fade. It's sort of clean. It's got some clean water. You say that's that Kentucky limestone. 
No, because it's from Scotland. It can't be that. It's only bottled in Scott, uh, Kentucky. It's not produced in Kentucky. It's not blended in Kentucky. It's not aged in Kentucky. It's all from Scotland. It's only, it's simply shipped to Kentucky and bottled there in Bardstown. Simple as that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty mellow product. I can see why people go in this store and they buy 100 Pipers. Is it going to change your perspective? Reorganize your thoughts? No. It's just a regular old product. But here's the key. When you take 100 Pipers and you put it in competition against others of its ilk, other inexpensive three-year age blended scotch whiskeys, and many of them cheaper, some are, yeah, it really beats them up. Not, it's not going to beat Johnny Walker Red, okay? We know that. But against like Highland Mist from Sazerac or, or well, Barton Brands, but Sazerac or um, Passport. No, not Passport. Um, what's the one I have? The uh, Inver House, which is a separate company, but Sazerac handles it in America. Same type thing. Or Piper Dean, Piper Dean, Sazerac makes that for Albertsons, Vons. Julio Osco, it, it, it beats those. They're not terrible, but they're really underwhelming compared to this. I never had McCormick scotch. All right, so Hunter Pipers can win against, uh, if you want to say, the cheapos. It's not going to be Clan McGregor. No, Clan McGregor, but Clan McGregor is different. You see, Hunter Pipers focus on the smoke. Clan McGregor focuses on the peat, the peat and the, the bread dough, the single malt flavors. So that's sort of like take your pick. If you prefer the smokiness, go with Hunter Pipers. If you prefer the bread dough and the peatiness, then go with Clan McGregor. It won't cost you. They're the same price, basically. So, Poe is my favorite poet. <laughs> Don't you know it? Yes, cheers to Ron, and sorry for the language cause both different beer. Well, that's all right. Fascinating, man. Highly respect you, Ron. Cheaper instance. I see you bought the... Uh, I see you... Um, rejoin alcohol eggs. That's good. We always encourage people to join alcohol eggs. It's a good alcohol group. Unless you got a bad attitude, then don't join because, you know, it's not going to work out. Expensive or not has more taste or no more smoke and more whiskey, man. Okay. All right. Let's go over here. Oh, man. It's got so much more smoke. So much more character. You get the cereal grains, but they're mild. They're mellow. You get the barley malt, the malt whiskey, the single malt whiskeys, and they use, how many does Johnny Walker Red use? Like, I think they said they use 30 different whiskeys, something like that. It's a complex arraignment, arrangement. Um, I thought 100 Pipers would compete. It does to an extent, but by... It's like a basketball game. Now we're deep into the second half, and uh, nah, now nah, it's an 18-point game. I'll take another sip. It's a 20-point game. It's going to end up like a 22-point difference. Like, it really ain't that close. Johnny, Johnny Walker Red runs away with the show. You would expect that. They got more talent. They got more depth. And... It's worth it. Is it twice as good? Yes, I would say so. It really is twice as good. It's got so much more character and smokiness. And Hunter Pipers has a relatively high amount of smokiness compared to the other cheap ones. But Hunter Pipers cannot. Sorry, Shivas Brothers. If you track me down, I'm sorry. Shivas Brothers, Seagram's 100 Pipers, or in America, 100 Pipers, cannot compete. I'm sorry. Not with Johnny Walker. Uh-uh. No way. Now, the 12-year against, well, it'll probably be the same result. Take the 12-year uh, 100 Pipers, put it up against Black Label, Johnny Walker. I think the Black Label is going to destroy it. But I haven't done the comparison, so I can't really see. But I assume that. So 100 Pipers competed well, but alas, at the end, there's too much cereal grain, grain whiskey, grain alcohol, and uh, not enough character. Why is this one of the top selling whiskeys in India? I don't know. 
I mean, Johnny Walker is even more popular in India, but uh, Hunter Piper's is very popular. Johnny Walker's the king right now. It's the king at this homestead. It's knocking them cold and red and gold, you know. Let's see what's going on here with these comments. Cheaper, inexpensive, X. That cool though. Johnny Walker is standards. They is if. I think somebody's been uh, doing a lot of, uh, let's say, uh, drinking overnight <laughs> having a little trouble getting their thoughts straight but uh these things will happen sometimes more than not when i do these 6 a.m things uh a lot of people stumble into the hangout and they uh will make comments that are somewhat coherent have only partial meaning or no meaning but, uh, you know, what, that's what you get when you, when you take the risk of coming on at this time of the morning. It's, uh, you got the people that's uh, coming off a bender, and it can be kind of grim. Joe Biden said, don't, Joe Biden's dentist said, don't chat drunk. Yeah, that's uh, like Metalhead said, Evan is way as caliber. Yeah, it is way as caliber. And, 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 you know, sometimes the, the smoker you are, the drinker you player. All right. The smoker you are, the drunker you player. All right. Anyway, um, but anyway, that's it. So, um, Johnny Walker is the winner again. Winning, 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 winning. And uh, is it going to win the next challenge? Uh, let's see. What are we going up against next? J and B? Hmm. From Diageo. Two J I'm going to do Diageo and Diageo. No, I think we'll do Buchanan's. Johnny Walker, Red Label versus Buchanan's. Same price, 35 Oh, no, not the same price. Buchanan's 35 bucks. Johnny Walker, 22 well, now, if Johnny Walker beats Buchanan's 12 year, then we got it. We know where the value is. It'll be Johnny Walker really is the king. Would really be the king, the king, the king. Uh, I think that Buchanan's will win. Mm hmm. But will it win by $13? Now, that, I would predict, is not going to happen. So it will be better, but it's not going to be $13 better. In this case, Johnny Walker is twice as good. It justifies the price. So you can go cheap and buy the 100 Pipers and get your little $8.99 scotch. Be happy with it. Or you can live a little and pay double the amount and get something that's really worth it you know, really worth drinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not disparaging Hunter Piper. I know a lot of viewers love that. You know, I'm not ripping it. I'm just saying, you know, you can't eat at McDonald's every day. I mean, you could, but why would you want to? And I, I eat at McDonald's. Now, people say, no, duh, we get that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Johnny Walker, cheers to you. Winning and winning and winning.